Today, L.A. Mayor Karen Bass will accept the gavel as the incoming Metro Board Chair. And she'll share details about her push to help keep L.A. commuters safe. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live in downtown L.A. where, Cara, you've been talking to some Metro riders. What are they saying? We have. We've spoken with a number of metro and train riders that have been coming through Union Station this morning, and many of them actually quite pleased with what they're seeing. The Metro Board's job is to keep an eye on how those public dollars are spent, how we all get around. And here at 9 a.m. this morning at Union Station, we will hear the state of the agency address. As you mentioned, we spoke with a number of riders. One longtime Metro user says she feels overall Metro Transit is improving. Thank God, you know, after COVID, you know, now we've got a lot more people on the trains. It's great, actually. But, um, and they're doing a great job. They clean the trains every, every day. Every time somebody gets off, they clean the trains, and then they don't let anybody get on until afterwards. Now, one of the big topics expected to be addressed today is crime. Metro leaders emphasized public safety when they sought and got roughly $232 million in a budget increase from the board last May. The Transportation Agency has been under fire from many community members because of high profile crimes on or near the system. For the next fiscal year, it has extended what it says are costly low enforce, law enforcement rather contracts with the Sheriff's Department and LA and Long Beach Police Departments. At the same time, it's moving forward with the feasibility plan for creating an in-house public safety department. Metro's new budget also invests more in cleaning and sanitation, and the agency is expanding partnerships with nonprofits to address the large numbers of people who are homeless taking shelter within the system. And take a look. One of the changes Metro will celebrate last month's opening of the long-awaited regional connector. Three underground stations were added, and that allows riders to travel between Azusa and Long Beach and between East L.A. and Santa Monica without having to transfer. Back here live, the new fiscal year starts on July the 1st. So all this talk really about what we can expect to see during the year ahead. And we'll have much more once it all gets underway here again at 9 this morning. Okay, Cara, sounds good. Thanks so much.